Jonathan Hag. Uh -huh. Currently live in San Antonio, Texas, from Tennessee, little town Rockwood, Tennessee. So, very nice little town. Yeah. Um, so I was in the Air Force, went in the Air Force in 92, right after I graduated high school. Uh, about 94, um, started having some problems with my left foot. Hurt it, injured it, working on the airplanes, coming off the ladders several times a day. Actually knocked the bone out of alignment in my left foot. So I had a simple surgery, supposed to take like 45 minutes. Three and a half hours later, I wake up and my foot feels funny. It's burning, and, you know, almost like it's on fire. And so I thought, you know, something's not right. This doesn't feel right. So they took the soft cast off. They thought it was the heat from the soft cast, but it was just red, like it was sunburned, really just burning. And um, probably, I think one of the main things I noticed that was different was instead of the six weeks of healing, 12 and a half weeks later, I was still on that cast. It was slow to heal, um, just lots of pain out of the very, you know, out of the box pain. Nothing like you would see, you know, from a normal surgery. Um, so the pain was, um, it felt, at the time, it felt like a steam burn. You know, if you were ironing, you burn yourself, but it was my whole foot from, probably from all the way up to almost my knee. And um, I guess after I got the cast off 12, 12 and a half weeks later, like I said, started feeling a little better. It wasn't as bad. Um, I went for, um, a follow-up and the doctor said, well, you shouldn't still be having this kind of pain. Let's send you to a specialist to see. And it was a pain doctor that she sent me to over at Wilford Hall. And um, it was kind of funny because he, right away, he goes, oh, you have, at the time it was called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Now it's complex regional pain syndrome. He said, it's a very bad disease. We need to get you in right away to get you treated, to help fix this right away. I said, okay, okay, never heard of it. Really didn't use the web back then that much because, you know, early 90s, we just didn't use the web, so I didn't really research it, didn't think anything of it. Um, he noted in my records to get me right back over there for the doctor to send me for treatment. Doctor never sent me for treatment. So, roll the clock forward to about 98. Um, I'm out of the Air Force because of the, you know, condition and stuff. And um, started getting a lot worse. It started spreading up my leg. I was still having a lot of problems. I was going to the doctor a lot at the VA and other doctors trying to figure out what's going on. And then, um, you know, I started limping more. Started, um, started having to miss work, school. And at the time I was trying to, I wanted to be a doctor. So I was pre-med doing all that stuff. And, you know, it was kind of getting in the way, way of that. And so I was still, you know, what's going on what's going on and i had forgot all about the conversation with the doctor before the pain specialist and um met some pain doctors at the va and they said well you have this you know there's really no cure for it um it's reflex sympathetic dystrophy it's probably the worst painful disease you could have and you know there's nothing really we can do we'll give you here's some meds take these pills if it doesn't help we'll increase the pills we'll do some things they did a few bear blocks where they you know, kind of put a tourniquet around the leg and fill your leg with lidocaine, and it was pretty, uh, pretty fun experience. <laughs> we did some sympathetic blocks that had a total of six bear blocks and nine sympathetic blocks done. Uh, sympathetic blocks helped a lot um, for a little while, and then it started wearing off towards the, probably about the eighth one I knew this isn't helping. And so kind of rolled the clock forward a little bit further to 2000. Um, I woke up one morning, well, it was really, it was December of 99, right about 2000. My right leg was hurting, S started swelling. And I was like, oh, I know exactly what it was. It's the disease that spread. And they actually said it could spread to the other leg. I never thought it would because, you know, I'm a guy, I'll, I'll, I'll make it through it. <laughs> and so it, um, it spread and, you know, it was kind of, kind of shocking. I went to the doctor right away that morning, told her what was going on. She goes, yeah, it spread. We'll get you back over to the pain doctors. We'll, and then this time, though, it was different. Um, now my both my legs started feeling like they were on fire, like really on fire. Felt like the bones were being crushed and ripped out of me. And it was just horrendous pain. And probably within about two weeks, they really started swelling up. And within about three months, I had about 160 pounds of fluid in both my legs. And they were saying it was because, um, first the one doctor said it was because of the pain medicine they had me on was causing me to swell up. So they took me off all my pain medicine three different times trying to, to prove that that's what it was, but it would just get worse each time. 
And so they're thinking, well, maybe it's because the sympathetic nervous system's involved, it's shut down the lymphatic system, and that's what exactly had happened. So the lymphatic system in my legs, it shut down, and all that fluid was just lymphatic fluid, just, you know, filling up in my legs. So, um, ended up probably, I would say about the fourth month in a wheelchair. And I was in a wheelchair for 10 years with my legs swollen like that, with 160 pounds of fluid. Um, so we kind of fast forward to 2010, September, um, probably about, well, about June, we talked about doing an experimental procedure at the VA hospital. And the experimental procedure was to put me in a ketamine coma for seven days. Um, I'd already looked into some of the stuff and had actually asked them if we could do that um, earlier in that year. And they said, no, we can't, it's too dangerous. But by June, I'd had 13 severe cellulitis infections in my legs. I've been in the hospital for five days each time. You know, one of those was going to end up probably killing me, is what they said. So they finally said, you know, you talked to us about the ketamine coma. Um, I think we need to try it because if not, we're going to, you know, we might lose you from the infection. And, you know, you might not make it from the, you know, through the coma, but at least we tried something. So they induced me into a coma. Um, I was in the coma for about seven days. Um, Woke up, first three days was horrible. <laughs> yeah. So you talk about that. Okay, the, um, I think the worst part was the hallucinations. I kept seeing, um, kept seeing a lot of demons, like standing behind the doctors, trying to get into the doctors. And, you know, in my mind, I was fighting the demons. You know, I was, wasn't in the hospital bed, I was actually out of the hospital bed, saving the doctors and the nurses from the demons. And it was just like a big demon war. Yeah. And it was all just hallucinations from the medicine, of course. And um, so I guess about the, the second night after waking up, I kind of went into, um, I haven't told many people about this, but um, 